Being consistent without a good it's a little anticipation. So we knew the gun was gonna go off. We tried to push it down. Just hold on to it aggressively and let it go off. The gun will do the rest for you. Your job is just to move that trigger without moving the sights. That was better. Back on track. Bro, you know what? Huh? <laughs> I have my eye closed. Oh yeah, open those eyes. <laughs> Both of them. Just a little anticipation. So we're pushing the gun down before. There you go. Now we're back in the circle. Step forward a little bit. Take your finger off the trigger. You had both fingers on the trigger. So make sure you have only one finger on the trigger. And then that thumb doesn't go on the gun. Your left hand first. Move that thumb out of the way as much as you can. Yep, left hand gets priority. So you want to bring that left hand a lot. So bring your left hand straight up higher. So go ahead and open your hand. Yep, so with this hand, it'll be pointed down like that, and the thumb will be pointed towards the target. But this part of the, the hand is gonna be all the way up there. So bring it straight up, even higher, even higher. Yes, yes, there you go. Just make sure your thumb is not on the slide. Remember that part is moving. Yep, so you're on the slide, so you don't want your thumb on the slide. There you go. The gap that's in between. Yep. Now press your gun a little farther out. You're a little close to your body with it. Just make sure we're not leaning back. So you want to be leaning forward. Yes. And then push your arms a little farther out. Not completely locked, but a little bit farther out. You're looking through that rear sight, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, Let the gun go off. Don't try to make it go off. I see you, Lincoln, man. Let's go. <laughs> right, right. Focus you were shooting out the wound. Like, come on, mama, pass me that gun. You're nervous, and so it's just... so what's happening. You're just like, y'all doing all right? Yeah. Huh? I'm just to the left, so I'm, but he's gonna work over me. So you're right-handed, right? Yeah. So typically, what causes that is that when you're pressing the trigger back, yeah, you're pushing, you're pushing on the gun and making the gun go left. Okay. So two things, make sure you're bringing that trigger almost like, remember you have a straight line from your right eye through the rear sight notch, through the front sight into the target, right? right. So anything you do with that gun has to be on that line or you're going to disrupt your sights. Okay. So when you're pressing the trigger, don't just press it straight back, press it straight back towards your right eye. Almost like you're trying to take the trigger and bring it back to your eye. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then with your left hand, give me more, more pressure. Because that will help negate the gun from being pushed left by your trigger finger. Okay? Those two things, that'll clear that up. that trigger finger. There you go. There you go. Now, I want you to, right now, you're going like, this is what you're doing. You're like, that way. Oh, yeah. Yep, but well, take your finger off the trigger. So you want to press your arms out a lot more. Not to their lock, lock them and then come back just slightly. But don't make sure we're not leaning back though. So your hips should be behind, kind of behind your heels a little bit. So bring your hips back and you should feel your weight go towards your toes. Stop. Yes, that's much better. Dominate that gun. So just let the gun go off. So all, we're pushing down on the gun before it goes off, and that's what's okay. causing the low hits. Okay. So a little slower with that trigger press. Move it one millimeter. If the gun goes off, great. If it doesn't, confirm your sights again. Move it one more millimeter. If it goes off, great. If it doesn't, repeat that process. One millimeter at a time, okay? Mm -hmm.